Kitoria used to be a great place to live. The citizens were happy, the mayor was eccentric but hardworking. The town was a little barren, but the mayor was working on getting her approval rating to 100% so that she could start public works projects and improve the town. She even began replacing the dirt road with a stone path to make travel easier on the villagers. She had so many ideas. Kitoria was going to be THE place to live. That was before. One night, when the villagers were returning home from relaxing on the beach or shopping in town, she came. No one knows who she was, only that she had a thirst for blood that could not be quenched. She left no villager unscathed. Gloria, Fauna, Static, Pango, and Philbert. All five were cut down in cold blood. Then the stranger set the town ablaze. Whether to cover up her crimes or because she was insane, I do not know. I will never know. But it is my job to pull this town back together. Time passed and the mayor began to rebuild. A gardening shop was added to the shopping district, along with a shoe store. Town Hall was rebuilt in a new location and Isabel resumed her post as the mayor's assistant. Thanks to Mayor Quindolin from the neighboring town of Kitty, Katoria was provided with much-needed resources. New fruits began to grow and new villagers moved in. It seemed the terrible scar left by the stranger was finally fading. Yet the mayor never could get the bloodstains off the road.